Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Elder Scrolls Online news video with me, Sherman. Today guys, we got patch 5.0.3 on the PTS, which is the Elder Scrolls Elsewhere and Update 22 patch. And I have to say there's some interesting stuff in here. We'll go through this and we'll talk about some of the things and take a look at it. But let's talk what they say first. So uh, first includes several fixes and adjustments to dragons found in Elsewhere thanks to your feedback during the testing event last week. We also have several fixes for Sunspire Trial and Elsewhere Quests, along some additional fixes and adjustments for combat abilities, including Incapacitating Strike and DK Standard. This week, we have the upcoming Orsinium Celebration event activated on the PTS for testing. We would love to hear your feedback and any bug reports. Additionally, we have performed a new character copy for from the PC Mac European Mega Server in order to test a new fix in login issues some were, have, were experiencing last week. So let's see here. Is it finished? No, it hasn't even, it hasn't even uh, happened. They just patched the, uh, put the patch notes up as you can see. But we're going to go ahead and go on down here, take a look at some of this stuff. So Orsinium celebration event. During this week on the PTS, you can travel to the ancient home of the orcs and earn bonuses for adventuring in Rothgar and including Maelstrom Arena. Rewards during the event include double Maelstrom Arena drops, double material harvesting yield in Rothgar, double rewards for completing Dells and World Boss dailies in Rothgar, and you also <coughs> will also be able to earn the outfit style pages for the Maelstrom Arena weapons. Ooh, Maelstrom weapons in the arena. Uh, these have a chance to drop in normal mode and are guaranteed drops in veteran. That's cool. Along with this feature, and with along with feathers and berries, the Inspissario will also have some new items to offer during the event. Maelstrom outfit style pages will be available for five tickets each. The Impresario will also sell a number of pieces of orcish furniture, such as braziers, tapestries, and statues to fill your war room. All right, so they're going to be priced from one to two tickets. And you can purchase as many as you like. That's cool. You earn two event tickets once per day per account for completing any Delve World Boss each day in Rothgar. Elsewhere changes. So they fixed some animation stuff with the dragons to reduce popping and sideways movement. Adjusted several dragon animations to reduce collisions with the ground. Polished the timing for some dragon animations, including takeoff and landing. Lots of, lots of fixes. We're just going to say that. <laughs> Moving on, Necromancer, Bone Tyrant. They fixed an issue where the model would, uh, this ability would clip through your camera under certain, certain, certain circumstances when, while in first person view. And then Living Death Spirit Mender fixed an issue where you would be immune to stuns while this ability was active. Now, moving on, Dragons will now breathe fire while flying more in more locations. Increase the amount of experience awarded for completing dragon events. Awesome. Made some adjustments to the dragon event respawn timers. Thank you. Fixed an issue where dragons could become unresponsive in combat. That's a that's a big benefit. And then combat abilities. Use of the dragon ones. <clears throat> dragons will now use wing thrash and tail sweep less often, so they can make better use of their other attacks. Wow. Flame Breath now hits your, your character more consistently, increased the damage received from Bite, and adjusted the damage from Bleeds applied from by Bite. Chomp can no longer target players far away from the dragon, but it is now more difficult for a player targeted by Chomp to escape by running away. Yeah, okay, so Dragon's got a little bit of a, a fix. Alright, moving on. Crafting and Economy. Cold Snap, Meridian, Palatine, and 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 Iniquinia sets will now properly unlock their lore library entries when read. All right, cool. Fix some typos with the Cold Snap stabs and shield mode of chapters. Uh, rename the Elder whatever boots to simply those boots. I'm not even going to say the name. Fixed an issue where the attune crafting. Okay, moving on. Sunspire trial new adjustments so general fixes corrected numerous issues throughout the trial where sounds failed to play incorrectly okay i never noticed that added subtitles during times when 
Anzen Joe is speaking. The God Slayer of Sunspire and Sunspire Daybreak achievements no longer share the same icon. Set pieces will no longer drop from monsters other than bosses in Sunspire. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, the first dragon. Focus fire ability will no longer obliterate. Blah, 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 blah. Our bitterly, whatever, prefers some players over others when choosing a target. Uh, no longer defies the laws of physics when performing flight maneuvers. Boss's health bar will now always present, be present during com uh, the encounter with him and will no longer attack with bite and snap prior to landing. <clears throat> the next dragon will cast Relentless Gale only once. Uh, flight maneuvers for better timing and visual improvement. Okay, they adjusted those. And then uh, Novitus follows, followers will now spawn in a bit further apart from each other. Will now spawn additional monsters during certain events in hard mode and the health of him in his Eternal Servant in hard mode. So they increase the health of the Eternal Servant in hard mode. Wow. So they adjusted his, yeah, to improve turns, yeah. All right, general itemization stuff, blah, blah, blah. We're going to skip all this because that's all quests. Halls of Fabrication. Sunspire loot will no longer drop in the monsters from monsters within this trial. That was funny. Sorry. I, I did find that funny when I saw people mentioning that on the, the um, zone chat. Depths of Malatar, the skating... The Skating the Ice achievement now correctly states it must be completed in Veteran Difficulty. Good thing I already have it. Casting a fear on an enemy while <clears throat> they are mid-air will no longer cause them to appear to float. Note this was purely a visual on remote client screens. Okay. Fixes. Class stuff. Dragon Knight. Ardent Flame. Dragon Knight Standard. The rock textures now be get, uh, better aligned with the broken ground textures from this ability. They increase the duration of this ability and the standard of might morph to 16 seconds at all ranks. Standard <coughs> Dragon Knight standard will now rank up in 1.1% damage per rank. Fixed an issue where these abilities were being considered direct damage rather than damage over time. Thank you for finally fixing something. Just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm glad they fixed it though. Shifting standard fixed an issue where this ability is, uh, was being removed before doing its final damage take. Searing Heat, they fixed an issue with the duration of the extensions portion of this passive was not applying to Dragonite Standard or Standard of Might. Now, we're gonna get, fin I'm gonna finish these before I say what I'm gonna say next. Um, but I do have something I wanna say. Assassination, Incapacitating Strike. This morph no longer applies minor mangle or stuns the target when cast with 120 or more ultimate. Instead, it now silences the target for three seconds when cast with 120 or more ultimate. Additionally, while slotted, it now grants Reeve, which restores up to 100 magicka and stamina when dealing damage with lighter heavy attacks on a target with a negative effect on them. Like they didn't have resource management like gods. <laughs> Let's make it better. I, I gotta see what they have to say here, guys. After collecting much feedback from the forums, threads, and other outlets, we noted that a lot of the feedback on the how Mangle's operation was too far, uh, far too niche in terms of engagement due to how the debuff works. While the theme was aimed at helping the Nightblade single out an opponent and put them closer to death's door, we missed the mark in delivery. We want to retain the idea of Nightblade isolating their target and gaining a, f a new, pr uh, a few previous seconds of denial on the target's ability to, yeah, recuperate. But we wanted the defender to at least be able to reposition while those seconds count down. So we have removed the stun in place of silence. Additionally, much like Soul Harvest, there is a passive gain for slotting the ability. However, this passive effect makes it m <laughs> makes much. Yeah, smaller portion of the ability's power since silences are s such powerful disabling tools, and they are. So, interesting change for incapacitating strikes. Moving on, Dark Cloak fixed an issue or minor protection granted from this ability 
was act additive rather than multiplicative. Thank you. This is going to make Nightblade tanks very happy. This ability will now heal for 6% of your maximum health per tick rather than 4.5%. Um, yeah, Dark Cloak's not broken, guys. It never was. That's a, a pretty high amount of health per tick. So, really excited for this. <laughs> Dual Wield. Rin. Fixed an issue where this ability and his warrants were not updating their hitboxes when fighting. Medium Armor. Windwalker. Fixed an issue where this passive was applying to its cost reduction to pummeling Goliath's special bash attack. I didn't know that. Psychic Order, Race Against Time. This ability no longer becomes cheaper as it ranks up. Reduce the Snare and immu Immobilize immunity to one second from four seconds. The immunity's duration now increases as the ability's rank ranks up, up to a maximum of two seconds. Okay, I gotta see what the devs say about this. Since Accelerate is such a powerful ability granting both damage and mobility potential, at reduced cost, we wanted to ensure that the other abilities that grant similar functions of snare or immobilize immunity still have their place in builds. This is also seen as a protective plate ability, which already gains an incredible powerful base function. So the standard four seconds duration is halved. Okay. Okay. Itemization and sets. <clears throat> Fixed an issue where the valve of the enchantment could decrease if it swapped to a different weapon for, with a poison equipped. Okay. <clears throat> Not really quite sure what I, uh, if I really understand that one. But let's talk about something first. Everyone has to understand, these are patch notes for the PTS. So these aren't going to be live. The other thing that you have to understand is these will be all con accumulated across all the patches that they've changed as they made and it'll all be con condensed into one when it launches with update 5.0.5 .5. all right moving on asylums perfected dual wield fixed an issue where this set was not applying its bonus to blade cloak and its morphs that's a good fix cold harbor's favorite added a beam of light to honor to help highlight its position when it was activated or activating okay the cost reduction granted from this item set now applies to bash, dodge, break, uh, dodge roll, break free, and sprint. That's nice. That's that's really nice. Six second cooldown is now applied per target, and false gods devotion fixed an issue, uh, fixed a visual error where this set would cause your character to glow green rather than blue when killing an enemy. Base game changes, fixed some figure cha um, stuff for art and animation. With the hat for Argonians. Okay, Baker's hat. Uh, the Baker's hat now sits properly on Argonian Khajiit heads. The tail on the Grey World Boss Dragon is now properly attached. Yeah, if you guys never didn't see this, like the Grey World Dragon Boss, his tail like had a line. So it looked like it was like offset. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Um, the skill re-specification re scroll obtained via the level up reward system will now use the updated skill respect system rather than the old method or simply unspending all of your skill points. That's cool. Fixed an issue where the monsters and heavy sacks were spawning too fast in some areas of Malable Tor. I didn't notice. Uh, fixed an issue resulting in blue quality crown foods being stronger than blue quality crafted foods. The math was fuzzy and has been groomed for uh, present... Yeah. Some housing changes, Lions War, Gamepad Mode, Encounter Logging, uh, Guild Finder, Guild and Guild Traders, Zone Guide. That's it. And that's it for this uh, patch notes. Wow. Not a whole lot. I mean, there is some interesting stuff in here. Like I said, um, mostly like minor stuff. And, and this is what happens every PTS patch is... 5.1 or 5.0 happen or the point zero zero happens <clears throat> Nothing like that's the main major stuff coming in then the next update there's another patch Which is minor fixes and stuff and that's the point zero point one then there's the point zero point two Which is the biggest of all changes throughout that PTS cycle then there's the point three which is where we're at now which is some minor changes 
and then there's the next update next week which is going to be my more minor changes and then the launch and launch is going to be normal so there might be some adjustments to some of the skills and their passes and how things work depending on how much feedback feedback they get based on what they changed this time so i don't think we're going to see a massive change in, in a lot of things in the next update <clears throat> But that's pretty much it for this video, guys, and you know what's coming next. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more videos by me, you can subscribe. Other than that, I want to thank you all for watching. Until next time, have a wonderful day. And this guy might see you in game. Bye.